We hope you will enjoy our following top 5 movie ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. I've never helped run a presidential campaign before. Neither have we. From Mike Nichols, director of The Birdcage, comes the story of a man. I'm going to do something really outrageous. I'm going to tell the truth. Who said yes to destiny. I'm going to win this thing. But couldn't say no. Apple fitter. Honey, please, popcorn. To anything else. Governor oh, Jack oh. Stanton seduced me. No, it is not true. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. We've had some tough times in our marriage, but we've worked them out. Our Jackie's done some pretty stupid things in his life, and he's got enemies. Well, this has to be handled just right. Just right. <laughs> I'm gonna want a sign confession. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, mister, you're about to become Mrs. Okay, okay, okay. Ain't this just great? Universal Pictures presents John Travolta. What's he governor of again? Emma Thompson. Jack Stanton could also be a great man if he weren't such a pompous, disorganized, slime-sucking, psychotic. Get me out! You, you just threw the phone out the window. Primary colors. Does this guy have a chance in hell? No. no. <laughs> but... Screenplay by Elaine May. America is a mess. We need someone to clean it up. And his name is Bob. Bob Roberts, millionaire businessman, fencing enthusiast, recording artist, and senatorial candidate. Here was a man that not only had a brilliant mind and a wonderful wit, but could also sing. This land is my land. Bob has a great vision for the future of our country and a great vision for the future of the children of our country. Hey, mister, can I see your gun? He's amazing. He's a poet and a genius. Ladies and gentlemen, why can't you get ahead? She's a beautiful girl. Why can't you have the home of your dreams? Miss Three Mile Island! Wall Street. Wall, Wall Street rats. Michael takes a loan from a Midwestern... The 60s are over, said Roberts. I couldn't agree more, Tana. And I'm sorry, but I wouldn't vote for you. My life depended on it. Are you a communist? Excuse me? <laughs> Paramount Pictures presents, with Miramax Films, Bob Roberts, a man with a solution. Choice to be... What you want to be, and I want to be rich. That's what politics is really about. Make your judgments if you must. Bob Roberts. Because Bob, spelled backwards, is still Bob. I just wish there was a way I could vote for you a hundred times. Oh, there is, actually. Really? Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> There's a crisis in the White House. What's the crisis? And the president's top advisors have been called together. Oh, jeez. The sexual misconduct occurred inside the Oval Office. With the election only days away, how much will this scandal affect the outcome? The president spent the weekend pressing the flash. He wasn't campaigning, he was dating, actually. Now, Washington's top spin doctor. We can distract the press for 11 days till the election. I think we got a chance. Has an idea. We can't afford a war. Gonna have the appearance of a war. But he can't pull it off without Hollywood's top producer. Uh, do I know you? We have some mutual friends in Washington. Why come to me? We want you to produce. You want me to produce your war? Not a war, it's a pageant. We need a theme, a song, some visuals. We need, you know, it's a pageant. New Line Cinema presents. How close are you to this? What do you want the kid to say? All the spectacle. I know we're all concerned for the president. I know we're all concerned for the president. I know uh, that we are all concerned for the president. He didn't, he didn't sell the line. All the drama. The president's going to go to war with Albania in about 30 minutes. Albania's hard to ride. These are chips. We need it for the armed position on the street. It'll be a kit, and we'll punch it in later, right? And all the effects of real war. OK, put the, the village behind her. Give me some sound of screaming. <laughs> Without the casualties. America has seldom witnessed a more poignant picture of... They used the same process with the last Schwarzenegger movie. 
You're the man. Albania, Albania. That rhymes. I can't believe it. We forgot a hero. It was like we sent him the Christmas card and we left out the what do you call? Fruitcake. There you go. Sergeant Schumann, if I may, welcome to history. How are you? <laughs> Anybody want a beer? Because I could party. When it's cooking, it's cooking. From Academy Award winning director Barry Levinson. When this goes national, I get to put it on my resume? Actually, no. What, what could they do to me? Take them home to your house and kill you. Academy Award winner Dustin Hoffman. This is politics at its finest. Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. How would you like an ambassadorship? That's my tale? Hell, I'd just do it for a story to tell. Oh, no, you couldn't tell anybody. I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> you couldn't tell anybody. No, no, no. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's a pageant. It's a pageant. That's what it is. Wag the dog. When the fit hits the shan, somebody's going to have to stay after school. Fine. We have to do it. It's the right thing to do, and nothing bad happens when you're doing the right thing. Is this your personal theory? Because I can shoot holes in it. Well, there's exceptions to every rule. Who is this? Tom Taffy. You got a couple of minutes? I'd like to sit down with you. I can't be talking to you. You got something the other guys don't have. You exude something. You draw people in. You're the big man on campus. I'm just a lowly intern. What time you got to work tomorrow? 9 a.m. I thought I was being smooth and subtle. No, you're pretty forward. You have an idea how to tie tie. No, no, not a clue. You got the best media mind in the country. All the reporters love you. If your boy wins, you get a job in the White House. He loses, you're back at a consulting firm. I've worked on more campaigns than most people have. By the time they're 40, he's the only one that's going to actually make a difference in people's lives. Either we're going to lead the world or we are going to bury our heads in the sand. You're my brain trust. So how are we doing? What do you think, Stevie? I think it's ours to the taking. You are working for the wrong man. I want you to work for us. Paul's my friend. Well, there's only one thing I value in this world, and that's loyalty. Without it, you're nothing. You want to work for the friend, or do you want to work for the president? I don't have to play dirty anymore. I got Morris. Today marks the beginning of a fight between two sets of ideals. If you get Thompson's endorsement, the race is over. What does he want? Cabinet post. I'm never going to do it. I said I wasn't going to make those kind of deals. Paul, I met with Tom Duffy yesterday. What? I just didn't think it was well, It doesn't matter what you thought. It matters what you did. It matters what you didn't do. I'm in. I'm coming to work for you. Revenge makes people unpredictable. I can't have that. What if I had something else? Like what? Something big. Next president of the United States of America, Governor Mike Morris. You really want this story getting out? Dignity matters. You were off the campaign, but you thought it was important to fix things. Integrity matters. Our future depends on it. Steven, don't do this. I'll do or say anything if I believe in it, but I have to believe in the cause. Mr. Jarman says that says that he's taking his case uh, to the public. Well, then why does he refuse to meet me in open debate? We have to build the last trend. Things that everybody on welfare. I'm sorry, I'll have it fixed in a second. Tell me what I know. Don't make me. Will you give me some Put that damn phone down and let's get this straight. I want to know what the hell this campaign is. Okay, now for starters, we got to cut your hair in 86 and sideburns. All right, let's Please. go. I wonder if anybody understood what I was trying to do. Don't worry, son. It won't make any difference. But increasingly in this country, candidates are merging the two, selling themselves like an underarm deodorant in commercials just long enough to pound in some mindless slogan that cheapens candidate and voter alike. Those early hard statements of his are turning into mush. Specific policies dissolve into old generalities. The voters are being asked to choose McKay the way they choose a detergent. Yeah, you look uptight and uncool, nobody's listening, nobody's digging you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a walk on the beach. We could talk on the way to the banquet. Or we could not go to the banquet. I just want to no, talk. Don't do this. Oh, that's very nice. Mr. McKay! Mr. McKay! Mr. 
okay. Back! Back, I say! I'm sorry, my link. Black against the white. Vote once. Vote twice. For Bill McKay. You middle class honkies. And it's going to be decided by you. What about the group in San Diego? Never mind that. We've got a fire in Malibu. It's perfect. The poor against the less poor. <laughs> Losing 15 minutes of free air time is like throwing away $80,000. Now go on, Rich. The young against the old. <laughs> our faith in ourselves and our faith in our country. Down, 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 down. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.